figures we picture completely wrong thanks to pop culture. This is according to crack.com. We're going to break it down. It's really interesting. But first thoughts, five words or less. Christopher Columbus was a dick. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Edison was a girl. <gasps> <laughs> Go figure. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's start with the number five. So Braveheart's William Wallace. We all know Braveheart as the character that Mel Gibson played with the blue face, shirtless, and a kilt. Kilts weren't invented for what? For like 400 years. <laughs> Later. Which is insane. Later. And, and when they invented it, they were like, of course, just wrap something around your waist. Yeah, like, yeah. Why didn't we think of that? You yeah. feel like that comes before pants. And he was supposed to be this like revolutionary leader that was this underdog that was poor, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what Mel Gibson's character was. But in reality, he was very privileged and he was a landowner. Huge, huge discrepancy right. not there. To say, that's not to say that he wasn't still in charge of this movement and an imposing, right. crazy person. But then you would lose the, the that whole scene, that mooning scene. That, <laughs> and then we the can't! Mo the movie would be completely different with that. What I, I like that they, they would keep the mooning scene. They'd be like, one second, got to take off the armor. Okay, take off my cape. Okay, and then we have Cleopatra. So how do we envision Cleopatra, right? We envision her as... Elizabeth Taylor. Right, gorgeous. Well, in reality, Cleopatra, first of all, she came from a very incestual, incestual family, decades worth. Mm -hmm. And when people described her, they were they described her as not attractive. And then uh, crack.com, they showed the picture of her on the coin. And the way the way they described her on the coin was butch haircut and a hook nose. I'm not saying that crack.com was saying that, but it's true. Right. But it's my true. question is how how detailed can coin work be? You know, I mean, detailed enough with the silhouette, though. It doesn't like, look like Elizabeth uh, Taylor. Whatever with the hair, but definitely the hook nose, like pull it down. How do we know that someone just like didn't act like sneeze while they were doing the nose? <laughs> I could imagine that she would want to make sure her silhouette is on a coin is accurate. I like what this implies. This implies, I mean, the article does a really good job of saying this, but this implies that like all of her wiles that she was able to use were purely psychological. They say yeah. that she, while not being hot, was able to get people through her sexuality and yeah. then also just through her cunning to get people to do what she wanted. Yeah. And she didn't have to rely. And they say that later on, people were like, oh, it's just easier to say after I gave her my kingdom that she did it because she was hot. <laughs> well, for, for one, I, I think a butch haircut and a hook nose sounds pretty attractive to me. <laughs> I agree. I love it. Okay. Um, here's a really interesting one, the real Buddha. Okay, so the way that the article describes it is like the character that we see in the Chinese restaurants where you rub the tummy, that's not Buddha. That is Bodhi. Okay, and Bodhi was an eccentric, hilarious monk, also a Buddha, but not the Buddha. Right. Right, who was actually not big at all. They gave the example of a Will Ferrell stature, interesting, mm -hmm. but that's what the real Buddha's I stature was, was like. I smaller than that. Well, they said Will Ferrell. I'm but. going by the article. Mm -hmm. Sure, I don't know, but I like, the, yeah, there's, the original person who came up with it was not the one whose belly we rub when we're like, ah, give me some Did love. you know this? Were you like stupid Americans? What are they doing? <laughs> Well, I, th I thought it was a kitten that was uh, like <laughs> whose belly you would rub when you get in a restaurant. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that has a great story. No, but I, I always thought, you know, I mean, that B B Buddha uh, looked like uh, Keanu Reeves. I think that's not too far, you know. Yeah, he, ooh, he was, hot, he was, sexy. He was, he, was, he was slim, you know. Okay. He was, uh, you know, he was a, a very pensive and meditative person. I like that, Keanu Reeves-esque. Okay, <laughs> this one really struck me by surprise, Pocahontas. So we all know Pocahontas as the Disney princess with the long, dark, care. Well, in actuality, uh, first of all, Pocahontas was her nickname, which meant frisky back then because she was known to do naked cartwheels in front of the Jamestown settlers, okay? Mm -hmm. Number two, she was bald because in her tribe at that age, she was only 12, that's when they would shave their heads. And then also she was not a princess because there was no hierarchy in her tribe. And she did end up with, with the white man, Captain John Smith, but again, she was 12. So he's a pedophile. But he didn't, they, they didn't have a physical relationship. Not at all? That's what all the documentation okay, says. Good. They didn't have a, a, a physical relationship, but she ended up marrying John Rolfe and going overseas and living yeah. and living that life. I only okay. have one question. <laughs> yes. Does she have a hook nose? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we have William Shakespeare. And w how do we envision William Shakespeare sounding? Oh! Like regal oh, almost. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Yeah, just like There that. you go. So, okay, like first of all, Chin Han yeah. and Brett Shakespeare, big time. What in college or in uh, yeah, high school, growing up? Professional theater. As, professional as well. theater. Yeah, yeah. How would you? How would you do a Shakespeare? 
Uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortunes. Wow. Very noble and yeah. regal. Yes. Well, no, not the case. <laughs> Apparently, he sounded like your drunk uncle doing an offensive Irish accent, which I feel like Brett will be perfect at. And in fact, he read, he, he wrote a lot of smutty poetry. Like, I mean smutty. You're gonna, you want to read the smutty yes. poetry? I don't, I don't know if I'm familiar. Okay, so it starts there and ends there, and then I'm going to interpret what it really meant back in the day. All right. Okay. And Jackson. so from hour to hour we ripe and ripe. <laughs> and then from hour to hour we rot and rot. And thereby hangs a tail. Okay, let me tell you what it meant. Yeah. Hour to hour meant whore to whore. And ripe and ripe meant rape. And rot meant rut. So supplement oh, hour sorry. to whore, ripe for rape, and rot for rut. Right. And so from whore to whore we rape and rape. And then from whore to whore, we rot and rot. Wow. Yeah, and crazy, right? Everybody hangs a tail. And that's what that means. Okay. Also, uh, the word wit meant vagina. Oh, wow. So go back and read that. So if somebody were to call, like, William Shakespeare a very witty man, it meant he was a very and vagina man. He got a lot man. of poon. <laughs> he was a That's what it means. Go back and read it. That is that. It meant he got a lot of poon? Yeah. Oh, dear Brett. Okay, really quickly, what other historical figures, besides the ones that we said in our five words, you guys think were inaccurately uh, or have been inaccurately depicted? My favorite ones are, like, how gross George Washington was. Yeah. yeah. Like, George Washington was, like, a weirdo with, like, wooden teeth and just stunk. All right, so what do you guys think about how Hollywood has changed the portrayal of these historical figures? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure you check us out on Hulu. New, new episodes every Thursday at 9. See you guys all next time on Popsburger.